There were rumors about this fight since Darren Till was forced out of his bout against Marvin Vittori due to a broken collarbone. Right after that, Kevin Holland offered to face the Italian on short notice. On Thursday, multiple sources have confirmed that Vittori vs Holland will be the new headliner for UFC on ABC2 on April 10th. Holland and Vittori also announced their upcoming bout on social media. Kevin Holland recently suffered a loss after a five-round fight against Derek Brunson. That setback snapped Holland's five-fight winning streak. Vittori, on the other hand, had two fights last year. Most recently against Jack Hermanson. He won by unanimous decision to take his win streak to four. Just a few weeks ago, Israel Adesanya gifted a red Porsche to his mother. That was during the build-up to his UFC 259 title fight against Jan Blahovic. Now, he posted a video of the new car he gifted to his father. The car is a 2021 Bentley Continental GT, which costs anywhere between $202,000 to $250,000. Check out the video. Late Thursday, John Jones tweeted about his very public and high-profile negotiations with the UFC, seemingly announcing that the Francis Ngannou bout is finally on. I just had a great dinner and the best conversation I've had with Dana in a very long time. We got the deal done. Date to be announced soon. Shortly after, UFC President Dana White responded with the following tweet. Incredible night, brother. Unfortunately, it was just an April Fool's joke. Hope you guys had a good April Fool's. Speaking to TMZ Sports, Michael Chandler broke down the matchup with Charles Oliveira and predicted that he will be the new UFC lightweight champion after he knocks Oliveira out. Oliveira poses a lot of threats on the ground, but I've never even come close to getting submitted. I've got kind of a sixth sense when it comes to the ground game to not be submitted. The best way I would like to go out there and finish him is just to hit him as hard as I can numerous times on the feet, keep the fight standing, Put him in panic mode, knock him out in the first round. Chandler also shared new training footage as he prepares for the upcoming title fight at UFC 262.
How did we get here? Okay, so as you know, they wanted to do Leon Edwards versus Colby Covington next, right? That was what was discussed. Your guy Colby isn't interested. Now I think Colby looks at the calendar and says, oh, Masvidal is fighting Usman on April 24th. I'll just wait it out and fight the winner. Heck, it worked for Jorge Masvidal. It might work for Colby Covington. And so he wasn't quick to take that fight. All right, so there's Leon Edwards. Now, they didn't go to Nathan Diaz with this fight. Nathan went to them. He said, I want this guy. They, they've offered him other names, lesser opponents on losing streaks, guys who aren't ranked. He said, no, I want this guy who everyone is saying is this badass top three guy who's on this winning streak. I want this guy. And hey, I like to make history. Let's spice it up. Let's go five rounds so I could show people that I'm the unofficial champion, that I could go five rounds no matter against two, no matter against where on the card. And so they put it together. Leon loved it. The guy certainly deserves a big name. It's the next best thing other than fighting for the belt. And of course, Nate loves it because he loves making history. And now he has just made history once again. Everyone's happy. UFC happy. Houston's happy. Toyota Center's happy. Everyone's happy. ESPN Plus is happy. We're happy. Who's not happy, Chael? Tell me right now. Speaking to RJ Clifford on SiriusXM Fight Nation 156, Benil Dariush explained how the Tony Ferguson fight came about and if it will be a breakthrough moment for him. Here's what he said. You know, I'm not even sure because I <laughs> thought it wasn't going to happen at first. I, after my fight with Ferreira, I just asked for, um, you know, I asked for Charles Oliveira. I said Michael Chandler or, or Tony Ferguson. But I mm -hmm. also said, you know, Tony, in my opinion, he's number one or number two on the greatest lightweights of all time. It just depends on who you ask, I guess. Yeah. But, like, Tony can fight whoever he wants. So the last person I thought that was going to say yes was Tony. I, I thought I was going to get somebody else, but I guess he said yes. So thank you, Tony. You know what's crazy? This is going to be my 20th fight in the UFC, and I'm not even sure if this is going to be the fight that tells people, hey, I'm here. That's how crazy our division is. It's just yeah. the most popular division, arguably the deepest division. So I hope this is a fight that everybody's like, oh crap, Daryush, Daryush is legit. Let's let's give this guy let's give this guy the title. But I don't know. I don't know mm -hmm. because there's always the big names like Dustin and Connor and, and Justin Gagey and and these guys are ranked quite high as well. So I don't know what the what what's gonna happen, but I, I hope people enjoy the fight and they recognize the level of skill again there's some question marks is john the greatest of all time and he's just been skating by really not motivating he's fighting these top young lines these contenders but he's still beating them and he's kind of half assing it or has father time caught up with john and he's just not as good anymore. Again, I don't know. We're going to find out, though. But what I do know is if the version of John Jones, plus 30 pounds, that fought Dominic Reyes, comes in with the same attitude, the same skill set, the same demeanor, and tries to do that against Rastangano, he won't make it out of two rounds. I can guarantee you that. Guarantee it. Now, if it's the John Jones that fought Gus Finn, same John Jones that fought DC back in the day, same John Jones that fought Glover Teixeira, same John Jones that fought Shogun Rua, same John Jones that fought Chael Sonnen, Rampage, Vitor, Rashad, it's going to be f***ing scary because he has the proper skill set to beat Francis. But if, 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 he's not, if he's not a 10 out of 10 John, he gets knocked out that's how scary francis is and we're gonna find out how good francis wrestling is guarantee that guarantee you john gets him down i will guarantee that unless he gets clipped in the first minute john will get him down guarantee it